Welcome to Wild World News. I'm back to sites. I'm back with some Wild World News, and it looks like a judge was caught being human, showing some emotion. It says judge freaks out in court and says, "I hope you die in prison." Well, let's see the full story so I can give my opinion on them. First caught on tape, an extraordinary courtroom outburst. Not from the defendant or from the victim's family, but from the judge himself, outraged by a convicted killer's actions in the courtroom. And ABC's Marcy Gonzalez has more on what set him off and what he's now saying about it. Marcy, good morning. Good morning, Dan and Viana. He says this was the most heinous, cold-blooded murder case he'd ever encountered. But this morning, the judge is speaking out to ABC News, explaining that like wasn't the, the only smiling. reason he had such an extreme reaction. You gutted him like a fish in that apartment, too. You were relentless. You stabbed, you stabbed, you stabbed, you stabbed, you stabbed until he was dead. This judge unleashing uh, on convicted murderer Kamiya Gamet. The 31-year-old in court being sentenced after a Michigan jury found her guilty of killing her boyfriend. I also remember the cries of help that he screamed as you plunged that knife in and out of his body. Gamut smirking, laughing, and rolling her eyes as the victim's family testified, wow. setting Judge John McBain off. And you're going to shut your mouth or I'm going to have some duct tape put on it. Well, he attacked All right. We'll wait here for a moment until we can get her quiet. Some questioning his extreme reaction. Judges are supposed to be above that to some degree. Fuck that. To be I'm glad he showed his human side. Emotions a little better. I'm glad. Camille pleaded not guilty, claiming she stabbed Marcel Hill in self-defense. Mostly everything was lies. There was a little bit of truth, but mostly I was convicted of the lies. But it was the disrespect she showed towards the victim's family that McBain says sparked the outrage he feels was justified. Was. Sometimes judges are required to take firm and definite steps to get control of the proceedings and to ultimately to make the person standing in front of them understand the full accountability of their actions. McBain doing just that, sentencing Gamut to life in prison. I agree with the family. I hope you die in prison as well. You know, if this was a death penalty state, you'd be getting a chair. And after he said that, the sentence of life without the possibility of parole, people in the courtroom started clapping. Gamut's defense team plans to appeal for conviction. It's really rare to not only see a judge behave like that, but also to see him defend his actions off, you know, outside of the courtroom. Right, no yeah. apologies. Remind you that None. he's only human. That's own. right. Okay. See what I said earlier? See? Only behaving human. Now, here's the thing. I don't know the full story. I don't know if she did it in defense or not. She might not be guilty, okay? All I'm saying is this. He was, they said he was more outraged about her disrespect for the family present. Because if you're going to laugh and smirk and do all that and roll your eyes, I mean, his family's sitting right there. You know what I mean? I mean, come on now. You know, you could at least hold that back while being sentenced. You know, especially... If you're not guilty, let me tell you something. If I'm not guilty, the gag rule is that they're going to they gonna have to, man, all types of bailiffs is going to have to control me. Are you going to know that the jury made the wrong fucking decision if I came out guilty when I'm not, okay? I defend myself. I don't play that shit. So anyway, post comments down below. Let me know what you think. It was the judge justified? I think he was. And I think he was human. And he showed some emotion, which is natural. I ain't got no problem with it. Go ahead, judge. One million subscribers. Woo! You may now subscribe.